and welcome everyone. My name is Akoswa Prempe, broadcasting to you from the United States of Africa. Today we bring you a powerful report from Digital Week in Ouagadougou, where Burkina Bay Innovation took center stage. A locally programmed robot has sparked national pride while also becoming the target of false information and online attacks. In this report, we break down the truth behind the robot, the imported hardware, the 100% Burkina Bay programming, and the young engineer who refuses to be discouraged by critics. This story is about more than technology. It's about resilience, creativity, and Africa's determination to rise in the digital age. Before we begin, please take a moment to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Your engagement helps connect Africans everywhere and strengthens our mission of unity across the continent. Now, as you watch, I want you to reflect on this powerful message of innovation and the challenges faced by African creators. It was at the Digital Week in Ouagadougou, in the spotlight of a national innovation, that it made its first remarkable appearance. A metal arm comes to life, the fruit of pure, unadulterated Burkinabe programming. However, on the web, controversy is brewing. False information injected like a poison claims that this robot was manufactured from A to Z in Burkina Faso. An assertion quickly picked up by detractors seeking to ridicule the country of honest men and its leaders. It's a project of the Ministry of Digital Transition for the 20th edition of Digital Week. The primary objective, in fact, of the arrival of these robots, first of all, was to demystify the very idea of technology, robotics, AI, and to break certain preconceptions that people have about technology. The objective of these robots' arrival is to show them that these are realities that exist and that can become realities for Burkina. Unveiled at Digital Week, it has unwittingly become a symbol of the narrative war being waged on social media. On one hand, the ingenuity of a young Burkinabe who proves that mastering code is within reach. On the other, the malevolence of those who hunt for the slightest flaw to undermine the patriotic momentum and national ambition. Ben Yassin Sawadogo, a design engineer in digital systems engineering, has always affirmed it. The chassis was bought elsewhere, but the soul, the brain, the code, the program logic is 100% made in Burkina. He insists that those who mock and cry lies are not seeking the truth. They are mainly looking for an opportunity to denigrate the Burkinabe effort. These are robots from the brand of the Chinese company Unitree, which is actually a leader in the field of design. There you have it, robot manufacturing. So these are robots that were entirely manufactured there, entirely manufactured, assembled there. There you go. So now, the role of local expertise here would be to program this robot, since this robot has the particularity of being programmable. So we can actually use it to do, we can say whatever we want. It all depends on what we learn to do with it. For him, to program is to create. It's like giving a soul to an inert body. The real challenge was to master the algorithms, the complex language, so that this robot could meet local needs, becoming a tool for development and education here in Burkina. To the detractors, Ben Yassin Sawadogo says this. Keep commenting. Meanwhile, we continue to invent and program the future of this country. The time is for construction, not for sterile mockery. When the robot arrives, it already comes with certain small functionalities. You see? So you can be content with those functionalities or you can add new ones. That's the real role of programming. There you go. To be able to add features that are adapted perhaps to our own realities. All this excitement really comes from the pride, in fact, that the people of Burkina have in wanting to assert themselves on the world stage. You see, they hope to put the country on a certain pedestal. So we understand this excitement. To recognize the truth, buying the hardware on one side and programming it locally on the other doesn't diminish the achievement in any way. On the contrary, it magnifies it. The real danger isn't a robot made elsewhere, but the false information that seeks to undermine the morale of those working to build a resilient, audacious, and technologically sharp Burkina Faso. The shadow of rumor has now been lifted. All that remains is the light of Burkina Bay genius ready to code a future of sovereignty year after year from one digital week to the next. 
Before we end, I'd love to hear from you. Here are my questions for you to leave your thoughts in the comments. Do you believe Africa is giving enough support and recognition to its young innovators and digital engineers? How should we respond as Africans when false information is used to discourage or undermine our progress? Share your thoughts below. Your voice matters in building a united and sovereign Africa.